just a random thought. Mike Jones probably had one of the most relatable lines of all times when it was like, this dick don't feel me now. I'm trying to turn shorty out. I'm just realistically, and we're just talking about just on some, this is my first time you ever about to get some cheeks from, from whatever woman this is. You have those kind of like thoughts in your brain where it's realistically like, I, 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 I hope I don't tap out early. I hope I put it on my A game because I do want to spend a block a few times. I, I, I just don't want to go out sad. So I do feel like Mike Jones realistically may have stumbled across one of the most relatable lines for men of all time. <laughs> That even come from. I don't know because that song just randomly came in my head. Like I'm sure a lot of people have just their random moments of just like some random Mike Jones thing to just come to your brain. Even if I don't remember the number at all, but I'm sure some people listening who remember the number. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't think so? Yeah, a lot of people remember that number. Do you remember it or any of it? Or just a piece of it, not the whole thing. Hell no. Five 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 something. A, a zero four. I don't know. I don't remember. Whatever. <laughs> um, it, I definitely don't remember. But in other news, real quick, let's just get right into it. Real quick, first off, shout out to John Morant. That John Morant got a technical foul. What was that? Sat was that Saturday night's game? Yeah, I believe Saturday night game. He got a technical foul, and he got tossed out the game. And because he got tossed out the game. He, of course, as you know, his dad always sitting course at. It was some people, I, I want to say it was some Asian people, so they probably may have just been, and I'm sure some Asian you know people. Who he was talk, that's who he was, that's how he got the technical foul. He was talking to the fans. That's how he got the tech. They thought, for being on FaceTime or for? No, they, he was talking to, they thought, I guess the pref, officials thought he was talking to them. So he got. That's how he got a tech. And that's then, why when you see him walking off, he was doing a little hot thing saying, oh, we good, you know, because he was talking to a fan. So that's how he got the technical. Okay, so, but then he still, but then after that, after he got kicked out the game, his, he did FaceTime the, he FaceTimed the, 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 the fan. fan to let him know that we, you know, it's all good. It wasn't your fault. That's tight. That's, I think those, those Cause that, little. Cause I want to say, the, I think the girl had a Memphis uh, uh, hoodie on or something like that. But yeah, but just those little things go far. And when we talk about little things going, well, not a little thing, huge things going far for fans. And it may seem small. I can't even say if it seems small to them. It was a, a viral video of Stefan Diggs giving a young man uh, an airbrush painting shoe. And just a little backstory on the shoe. Earlier in the season, Stefan Diggs met this young man right after his father passed. And I and the crazy thing is I forgot that in the Stefan dad Stefan um, dad passed away early too. So he had and I remember after somebody told me I remembered him saying that in the I am athlete interview and he was saying that you know he had to help raise his younger brother. So with that being said, he met the young man early in the season and then of course for Christmas he had some Air Force ones that he got airbrushed with the picture of the little boy and his dad on there. And then Stephon Diggs went up to him. The little boy was sitting like literally like the front row. I mean, close as you can get at a football game. Went up to him, you know, and said, you know, hey, Merry Christmas, whatever case may be. Had him the shoe. The little boy looked at the shoe, started crying. And then, you know, him, they had a little moment. And then Stephon Diggs was like, well, you going you to wish me good luck? The little boy was just so, he was like, he was in shambles. Like he really didn't know how to, I guess even kind of deal with his emotions. Like you, it was all on his face, but he really just like, he didn't even overreact or nothing. It was just like, he was kind of like stuck. Like, damn, I don't even know what to say. Like, all right, this is one of my favorite players. And that gift was so thoughtful. Like just, I don't even necessarily know if like, I can't even say, don't get it twisted. People got good PR people, but I don't know if a PR person could have came up with that. Like that just seemed Which, just I too. Mean, even a PR, I mean, it's just the thought that counts. Yeah, but that even with the shoe, that shit was just so detailed. That shit was tight to me. I'm not listening yeah, to no, it. Mean, yeah. That made me like when you see shit like that. I feel like those, and that's when I, I guess the initial thing when I was even talking about John Morant. Those little things like that is the shit that kind of make people uh, want to become a fan, like and stay a fan. And even people watching it from a distance and make you be like, "Damn, like that's just tight." Yeah. Like I mean, it's not like he he actually drew it himself. Oh yeah, no, no, of course, but it's just still. But I'm saying before him to think about that, to come up with the concept or even think you know well let me go a little further and then what even make it tight is though but you gotta think about the four for especially even when 
I don't know if he done it as much as he was in Buffalo, but when he was in Minnesota, that was his thing. Like he always used to have an airbrush on his cleats and all that other yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, he because um, I, I want to say the dude that he uh, what's his name is from here too. The do his shoes? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's tight. I think, that's I think, if, I think if, if it's the same person, then I think it, um, he from. I want to say he from he from this area. Yeah, well, that would make it even tighter. I just like I said, shout out to Stephon Diggs, shout out to John Moran. That Stephon Diggs one, that one had me though. I'm not gonna. I was like, damn. Like even and I didn't even wasn't at that time when I even first watched it, I wasn't even thinking about his dad passing. I didn't even remember that part. I just remember that story with him and that little boy, and I'm just like, damn, that I'm not even gonna hold. It. I was like, bro, he, you, I'm a fan. Like that, he could. I don't care what he, how he show up on the field. That right there can make somebody genuinely a fan to be like, damn. And I'm happy that he from the DMV. Shout out to Stephon Diggs. I'm cool on your brother and the Cowboys. We good money on them. Um. Before we get out of anything, why we still on sports, bro? Shout out to the Cowboy fans. Cowboy fans are just different type of people, and I know. And, and it's just so funny because Mike and, this, and I said this on social media. When you were a kid and you used to be like, "Oh, Mark, can we get some McDonald's?" and she'd be like, "Boy, we got food in the house. You better eat the McDonald's we got in the house." And of course, you'd never have McDonald's in the house. But basically, we got food in the house. Pay attention to what you got on your plate going ahead. Michael Parsons jumped out there and was calling and and calling out. Jalen Hurts and people be dickheads. Like I'm making a video and I'm super hype and I'm say just nigga the Eagles just played the Bears. I just, both of that nigga I make endless Justin Hurt. I'm um, fucking Justin uh, Hurts. Fucking I said Justin Hurts. I'm calling the nigga Justin Hurts again. Justin Fields video and I'm mixing the two up because they was just playing each other. So I'm st- and I got both names in my mind instead of saying Jalen Hurts. I said fucking Justin. Oh, hey, who's Justin Hurts? Bitch, you know who I'm talking about, nigga. They just fucking played the Bears. The fucking same. Like let's get the fuck off my dick. Worry about your sorry ass team losing. How about that? Y'all lucky fucking my man Jalen Hurts ain't. Fucking playing this week against the Eagles. I do. I, me and Marcus, when we was on our way here, I did say I do think that still the views on that game may drop a little bit. Maybe not dramatically because it's still gonna be a lot of Cowboys fans watching that game. But I don't think the casual fans will still watch as much um, now that that, that he's not playing. Cause that, cause that was the lead up. Like that was even, even when Michael Parsons jumping out there saying, "Oh, I don't really think that, Je- I don't really think that Jalen Hurts is a MVP. Is just he in a good team? It's a good system." And I was just like, "You wow, disrespectful even saying that." Like you really was out of pocket for saying that. But again, shout out to the Cowboys fan. Shout out to Dak Prescott for throwing that motherfucking pick six. Damn, he looked like an idiot. What was worse, him throwing that pick six or the, the Raiders nigga? I mean, the uh, Patriots throwing the. The Raiders. Hey, he made Mike Mac Jones touch. I mean, you can't help that. But the Raiders was the worst because you fucking pitched the ball back. Where well, you could have just went into overtime. Yeah, that was dumb. Just real quick, I'm not going to hold y'all up with too much on sports. My, I got a question for especially, again, it was the same question I asked with the Migos. What's, what's Gunner's gangster song? The one that's been trending? The little clip. What? What, what the, is what, it? The clip when they been saying um, something about he ain't, like something about the snitch or something like that. That ain't the gangster song. Cause I don't even know the whole song out there. I I just I seen I've seen that clip, but that but do I'm, all I'm just saying is when when you think of Gunner, do you think of a gangster artist? Nope. No, think I don't think so. You think of a dyke? Shut up. <laughs> That's what he looked like, though. I see, I saw every time I see him, though. He do look like a dog. He do. He definitely do. Because I'm laughing because, like, when you said it, oh, okay, now you hear it. Like, I mean, you see, like, oh, damn, he really do. But my, my only thing is, bro, it just blow me because it just be like so many people. And just real quick, just, and I, I just want to talk to, especially, like, local artists or all around the world, especially the DMV, though. A lot of y'all was just, oh, I never snitch. Bro, a lot of you niggas ain't never done nothing to snitch. And this is the thing that blow me about with, with, with niggas in general. Bro, y'all be like petty crime criminals. These niggas is facing a RICO charge. I don't think y'all got to, I, I know for a fact you don't get it. And I understand the cool thing to do on social media. It's just a pile on. I, I get it. And I can even give you an example. Like, I literally got a jump on TikTok right now this doing stupid numbers and his kids in the car. Grown men shouldn't even be listening to Lord Dirk. I'm like, bro, Lord Dirk is grown. What are you talking about? And, and this is how you know when people are young. I said Lord Dirk is my favorite young rapper. And niggas was like, young? He ain't young. He almost 30. I'm like, well, one, thank you. You must think I'm that fucking young. Because, <laughs> right. nigga, I'm not. He's he young to young. me. Nigga, he's... But, but it was because but there's older people in the comments like, 
yeah, you y'all gotta be kids because you can't be thirty ain't old, nigga, and he ain't even thirty. So it's just like, but it just I get social media, but I just don't like when it's just like niggas like to you, you, you're 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 giving your opinion on your street perspective, but you ain't never was even. You wasn't even a man enough so you can be a, a relevant local rapper. Like, you're not the man enough in your neighborhood where your neighborhood could kind of push you to the forefront. You wasn't getting enough money where you could even get features from these rappers. I know that for a fact because only two rappers in the DMV that got a song with Young Thug. So, I, but I hear y'all. Like, you niggas be talking, but you really wasn't getting no money. So, how can you, like, come on, bro. I'm, I'm cool on you niggas who catch gun charges and little robbing niggas, bro. Catching gun charges is that's a kid's sport. Like go that's shit kids do. You niggas be doing six, seven years old. You really gun. think he snitched when I was talking to um No, um, and that's my and point. That's, I'm not saying, and that's what I was saying when when it all came out. I was like, one, I don't think he snitched. Two, I just think he he had to talk to Thug at some point and so he gave him the okay. But not not even just not even just that. My my thing is even just again. For especially for the I just I'm talking the conversation to the locals. I've seen Duke in person a few times because I've had interactions with them a few times. I know for a fact Duke taking his plea and he getting I don't even know how the hell he got he got fucking what was his job that he got he got ten years he ten years on probation and it's um that's a long ass time to have probation over there. Fuck yeah, I didn't know people be on probation. That well, Meek was on probation for that long. But he wasn't on house arrest that long. He wasn't on house arrest. I don't, I don't think. I don't think Duke gonna be. But my only thing is, Duke is young thugs left hand, like literally his right hand man. You go to any of all young. Every time I've ever personally, even outside of seeing young thugs, just seeing other people around thug and them, I've always seen Duke, and he was always just a stand up dude. But again, I just like I just it's to me it just be so funny when you see, and it be especially niggas I know. I'm like dog, how like close to my age. It don't be, and, and especially like when it was going like time to go to like the clubs and shit. And again, this is why a lot of you niggas is just like local rappers. Um, like you didn't go to the club and you didn't make enough noise. Niggas wasn't like, let me tell you, before even, again, we, me and Marcus talked a couple of weeks ago, talking about popping bottles. Niggas wasn't even popping bottles. You wasn't even making your presence felt just as regular street niggas. Fuck the rapper shit. So it's just like, I don't like when people give their, I can even use another a perfect example, right? It's like when I was younger, these, this is way past the statute of limity. When I was young. I said Statue of Liberty, Stat <laughs> Statue of Limitations, right? When I was younger, perfect example, if I had, if I was going to make a sale somewhere else and and I asked Marcus, hey, can you just uh, open the door real quick and, and do this for me? I would know it's no way in hell that I would sit here and want, if something back then would have happened, am I supposed to think that Marcus is supposed to go to jail with me? What type of dickhead shit would that be? So, and when people say, oh, Gunner didn't, dog, I won when I listen to Gunner music. Gun Let's think about all popular Gunner songs. They're closed songs. I just felt like he was in the wrong place to write. At the yeah. wrong time, that's it. I'm just affiliated with the wrong niggas at the wrong time. But that's my only thing is, I don't. I think for even niggas to even try to align any of them and say any of them snitches, then that's basically thinking y'all seeing his and y'all must think young thug is pussy that he would want his men for one. The only other nigga on YSL that's gonna make some money is Gunner. Why? If we all, if I let's just say for a fact, I know they just the deck the the deck is stacked up against me. Realistically, I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna be eating. I want to know how how many big hits do y'all think Young Thug really got? That he could eat twenty. If him and Gunner both had to sit down for twenty five years, you how long you think Young Thug family would be okay with him behind bars and still be able to live the lifestyle they live? Because I think when people say dumb shit like that, what he supposed to do? He got a whole, and Young Thug got a lot of kids. A lot of kids, a lot of brothers and sisters. Hell yeah. Dang, I know he had a lot of kids before he was even famous. Mm. And that's why he was kind of, I don't know, you remember when we talked about it a minute ago when he was saying broke people shouldn't have had kids and shit like that? Yeah, I remember that. And, but that was one of the reasons, but that was one of his reasons why he was standing on it. Like, nigga, I had kids when I was broke and I know how hard that shit was. So, but again, my thing of it is, how much, like, let's just talk about what's, what's the classic song that Young Thug could probably eat off of Let's say he's 15 years into his prison sentence now. Don't think I don't, that's actually still getting played. That's my yeah. I, don't, I mean, like, he, like he got songs, but I don't he think songs, I don't but, think it's getting played. Uh, got me a check. Is that him? Yeah, that, that's okay. it. But we're talking about actual, but I don't that's see, and I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't listen to him. I don't know. I don't even know how the the actual breakdown. But we talking about certain niggas like you got to think about like Lil Wayne uh, just went diamond for um, Lollipop, right? And that was hard sales. And he made when he and said when he I made his good. and he just now getting that. And just getting going diamond. But that's some song that he can eat off of. Like it's certain songs you know, like when you like 
DJ Khaled, all I do is win. You know DJ Khaled can eat off of that shit for the rest of his life. It's certain songs that you know niggas can eat off for the rest of their life, but then it's certain shit that's be like, I'm thinking like, y'all niggas is that dumb. It's like, what would be the song that Young Thug could eat off by himself? He ain't got one, right? I mean, to be honest, I, do any of them really have... But that's cool. Let's say if none of them don't have none, then that's cool. I at least still rather... Gun at least Gunner can con consistently on a yearly basis, he can come up with a hit. This nigga signed to me. I don't know what the, what his deal is with Thug, but I'm 100% positive. I I would prefer my only other motherfucker signed to my label who actually make hit records to be out. A mother, I'm sure Gunner probably get like 150 a show. I'd rather him be on the street than him, me and him both. Let's both, we're going to both just thug it out. We're going to do 25 to life. The fuck are we going to do? How are we going to eat? Who going to take care of my kids? Who gonna put money? What the fuck? Who gonna pay these lawyers? <laughs> exactly. And for people who think that's just a limb, go well, look at fucking Mayweather daughter. Just beat her shit. She on probation for six years for stabbing somebody up. You gotta have that's a different crazy. type of now, bread. That's yeah, that that, now that's that right there is privilege. But that's my point. You need I mean, that type of money. money, money. But that's my. But that's so if listen, that's what I'm saying. Father got the money. That's privilege. So that's all goes back to my point of. Why would I want my other cash cow? Because what you think I'm gonna rely on? I'm gonna rely on other. I'm gonna rely on Bobby Schmurder and them niggas to put money on my books. No, no. Especially not him. Like, <laughs> so what? That's what I'm saying. But no, what I see. Exactly. So that's my fucking point. But niggas is. Murder cat. Damn, that's the only thing you got to rely on. I'm just, I mean, I don't know, like, who, I don't know who else you think you're going to rely on, because these, one, niggas got bills, and then niggas ain't guaranteed, these niggas ain't guaranteed to stay hot, at least, nigga, Gunner went in and pushing P was on fire. Jeez. And that's my whole thing, when niggas be like, oh, you, bro, his biggest song is Drip Too Hard. What's gangster about Drip Too Hard? Um, that was his, that's his song? Yes. And then what else he got? Hit wise, pushing people probably be after. Oh, okay. Let's we we let we talking about just hits. We not. I just I just started in about. Let's go to Gunner real quick. He ain't been out that long though, right? No. Nah. nah, he haven't. Uh, I mean, of course the uh and, and never recover with Drake and um. Oh, hat. What's hat? Uh, the him and Young Thug. Young him and Young Thug. <sighs> Well, I can't. You, I, I play it out there because the YouTube jump off. I can't play it on there. I mean, of course, and he was on all that. He was on ski and he was on slag yeah, and all that other yeah, shit. Okay. So, but my but thing, I'm really been those. But all of those features. Don't let's be clear. All, I'm not that, not listen to what I'm saying. Young Thug. I mean, Gunner does not have a big song by himself. All of those songs, other people are on it. So right. it's just like. Uh, but he basically ain't rapping about. He he Which did. I he think. just not, he not rapping about like it. Don't get it twisted. Like of course, like we even said about Drake. The same thing we said about Migos. <laughs> Every rapper's going to have his occasional what he would do to you, boss. That's just a man being a man. Niggas just talking shit. But my thing of it is, I just hate when I see so many people pile on. Y'all mother, bro. Do y'all pay attention to the shit y'all cry? Y'all pay attention. Y'all cry about motherfuckers breaking your heart, and you think I'm actually gonna believe that y'all can sit there and a motherfucker throw y'all in the jail and tell you facing twenty five to life. Like, I don't think some of these. I don't think some of these motherfuckers was actually paying they attention saying, to some of. Like I said, they like I said before, they say that shit, but at the same time, when they get hit with that fucking time, they get the same whatever they need to say to get out of it too. Of uh, course, cool. and then just the change, because I, I feel like I'm sure people are tired of hearing these. But even the nigga who helped, um, what was his name? Uh, um, the co-founder of YSL. What is his name? What was it? Co-founder Walter Murphy has also uh, negotiated a plea deal in the RICO case and was released from jail. And Murphy admitted that he created YSL with Young Thug in 2012. And he admitted that YSL was a gang. And my only thing of it is, is just like, and I get, and, 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 I, and the crazy thing is, I don't see too many Atlanta people really getting out of pocket and saying anything crazy. Because I think Atlanta people kind of understand Atlanta business. And this is just for people, because I've heard a lot of people talk about it, and I did, and let me, and I want to slow down and just remind people, just even do, I think we glimpsed over it maybe a couple weeks ago. Uh, Hoover's Pablo Juan, he was facing 15 years, and this, and I think his guy, he ended up taking a plea deal, he ended up doing, he ended up got to do uh, five. But these is all the people where 
they was like, matter of fact, do your Googles. It was a mixtape back in the day. It was called The Lobby Boy. I mean, uh, what was it called? Uh, the lob What was it, The Lobby? Lob R Lobby Runners, I think. Lobby Runners, Pee Wee Long Wave, uh, Hood Rich Pablo Juan, Jose Guapo, Young Thug, Migos. And this was just a lot of those people. A lot of them niggas is getting catching Rico charges right now. A lot of them niggas, Pee Wee Long Wave, have been in and out of jail. So I, I think a lot of people think... The, the gun is, this YSL shit just didn't happen by happens, Herkham, whatever the fucking word, uh, happenstance, whatever the fuck that word is. A lot, it just, they didn't stumble into a lot of that. A lot of these niggas was just real live street niggas. And that's why I even remember when I told y'all, you stop hearing people say, even say Free Young Thug. When fucking Kim Kardashian, she didn't put, never put up a post saying Free Young Thug. It was always Free Gunner. Because real, listen, you, everybody in his mother knew that boy ain't had nothing to do with none of that shit. Right. And he came, and you got to think about it, he came along, had, Young Thug was already halfway in mid-career. This ain't, he ain't, wasn't with Young Thug from day one. And so that's like, come on, you talking about some of these charges these niggas was getting hit with, he wasn't even around yet. Mm -hmm. But again, like I said, a lot of these rappers that they was affiliated with before this, like the Hurrish Pablo Arms, Pee Wee Longway. And shout out to Pee Wee Longway. Pee Wee Longway just put out a new project. Pee Wee Longway, you kind of threw me off a little bit with a lot of that R&B shit. But I think I think that was just him off of realistically. He probably was scared. Niggas don't even be really wanting to rap for real go too crazy because niggas don't want to go to jail. And he was one of the time with him and Young Thug was the same way. It was when he was, they was first coming up. Pee Wee Longway and Young Thug was like the way Gun and Lil Baby was. Them niggas was like butt buddies. Every fucking video was Pee Wee Longway Young Thug. All their songs was Pee Wee Longway Young Thug. Just certain shit. But again, like I said, Hood Rich Paul Lawan, that was their man. A lot of these niggas be getting Rico chases. Y'all, nobody has, nobody ain't even said nothing about YF and Lucha. Y'all just forgot about this nigga. I'm about to ask him. <laughs> did, they, did they really forget about him? But, that, but you got to think about most, the, a lot, this is what I'm saying. He the same, he, he was locked up before Young Thug and them. But you got to think about it. A lot of their beefs and those uh, alleged shit that they getting locked up for is going back and forth with his crew. Mm -hmm. Ain't none of them niggas getting no plea deals or nothing. So that's my, my that's a, my only beef with niggas is I just hate when the internet be like, y'all be so street, bro. And a lot of y'all just be scammers and y'all buy guns and buy drugs and act like y'all out here really on some bullshit. No, right. you, you a scam and you just buying all the other shit to make it look like you thorough on social media. And I'm talking, shout outs to all the niggas who, y'all get locked up for gun charges, bro. Stop. You're not even a trapper. You're not nothing. You do you did that six years because you couldn't afford a fucking lawyer with a gun charge. Eat a dick, dog. Like, think about you sitting here saying, oh, nigga, a rat, and you couldn't afford a lawyer. You got burnt because you had a public defender. The fuck are we talking? That's my, but listen to what I'm saying, dude. Uh, listen to we got sometimes you got to just. It's always just like, how do you want me to take an opinion of a nigga who can't even afford a lawyer? You going to fight a gun charge with a public defender? And you think I'm going to respect your opinion on what the fuck you thought about Gunner? Sorry, right, bro. The Frank stand is always open. Y'all niggas is weird. But in other news, uh, Carrie Hilson clapped back at a fan for saying that she need a BBL after she posting. A swimsuit uh, jump. One, I want to say, I think that's that... Carrie, baby. Man, what? I seen Carrie Houston when I went to the last Millennium Tour. She still look good for her age. Man, fuck for her age, nigga. She just look good, period. I and mean, that baby suit... She always look good, period. But I'm just saying, like, she don't need no damn BBL. She tall as shit. Yeah, she did. That shit just look good. She looked good. She in that baby suit. I didn't. And, but the crazy thing, that's the only thing I, 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 one of my, that's one of my probably my biggest beefs about sports, especially I'm gonna say with even TikTok more than Instagram, because TikTok allow people to make accounts and they don't have to post shit. And that's I'm one of them people like, bro, I'm not arguing with no nigga who don't got no posts and your page on private. I'm not arguing with no nigga on no social media platforms. You got a private page. You got a gangster. Whatever you say. I don't, whatever your opinion is, knock yourself out. You can go back and forth with whoever else you want in this comment section, but I ain't going to be him. Because what are we talking about? Like, nigga, Carrie Hilson looked good, and but her thing, I think what she was saying, like, that's what she feel like her, I guess, her weight or her, you know, her size and shit, and for most women, it's something that she conscious of. And she was just like, nigga, I feel like I'm in, like, like, this is the healthiest I've been in my whole life, so you can talk about getting a BBL, you can kiss my ass. But I do just think for just, it, it's just fucked up that even women have to, endure that type of shit because it's like bro what are you talking about and why is that your go-to now why is not go work out but first thing you tell her she need a bbl 
like niggas be weird, bro. That's crazy. Like that's the only thing I really just don't with the internet. That shit be. And she not even fat. No, like she have an ass. That's what you basically was. But, but she, she still had she, an ass she, though. She, but no, she, no. Had, she always had like a little something. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. For her, for her, for her body shape, too. for her body shape and her, I think he just was looking for a fat ass. Well, you need to go somewhere else. To find no, right. That, 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 but, but but you know, but you know, Lucy ain't never been like. Yeah, no, she like never that. been no with no crazy fat yeah. ass. That never been her swag. She always been petite, you know, and tall. Like her her body type is a little bit almost like Sierra's kind of like they both kind of tall and not too like their body ain't too crazy. But don't get me wrong, I think. Even for Carrie Hilson now, she's put on, a, of course, she grown women weight. I watched the um the Christmas story on BET. I think it's on BET. Oh, you watched the Christmas movie? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, and you didn't have to have no kids. And, Ooh, uh, I'm gonna leave that alone. Shut up! Don't come for me. I'm gonna leave and that alone. um, I think no, it was a BET. I think it's VH1. Yeah. Whatever it is with her and Neo and all them. It is BET. It is BET. Yeah, and she looked good. I was like, you could tell she a little thick. And then even in that scene, in that stuff, she kind of looked thick over there. She like she got more behind than what she... You know. Well, she, that's what I was about to say. Only thing I could sit here and say that you could see, like, clear as they see in that video is okay. She looked like she got more ass and she might have a little bit of cellular, like, but this to me is what we're fucking that's up for. Regular body but that, like, of course, and that's what I was about to say. That, that's what, what's so fucked up about that is that's when niggas' brains go now because you see so, you see so much fake shit. Exactly. So now you you looking at the fake shit where you thinking that's the norm, and all I'm gonna tell you niggas is you better slow down. You better be fucking careful. <laughs> what that fuck? Oh my god, what that video I did you send? You just sent it to I, me. I, sent, I texted to you, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, I did. I sent you it did? to you. I sent it to you in the text. I'm gonna be honest with you. The reason why I'm not dating, um, if we're gonna be serious and no one's gonna get offended, I hope not, is that. Um, I don't know who's a girl and a boy lately. Um, a lot of you boys that are doing, like, girl makeup, you're doing a great job. Like, that shit crazy. Like, you guys are actually watching the YouTube channels, you know? And then I'd be like, oh, shoot, like, you, you's a boy. Uh, you don't want this? No, no. Um, I like girls. Like, I like butter. Not, um, you won't believe it's not butter. Like, I just, I want, you know, you know, but I have nothing to get. You look pretty. As a, you're a pretty boy. I just, I just want a ch- you know, you know. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be honest with you. Y'all gotta be careful out here. No, no, I see. And real, real quick though, I'm gonna just say pause. I've been saying that for a minute. I, I said, I did, y'all, I sent y'all both. I sent both of y'all the video uh, and that picture of that the viral um, transgender yeah. with the, yeah. it's, a, it's a white man turned into a white woman. Yeah. I'm pause. I'm gonna say some. Pause. I'm about to say something very gay. Pause. Uh, listen to no, no time. I listen time. Really, real quick. I said y'all one yesterday. Before, yeah. before niggas keep going back, I'm not going back and forth and, and keep stressing myself with one of these women. Because y'all, I, t- I was arguing with a female friend of mine. Y'all keep pushing niggas to the edge and niggas are just going to either turn to women or, or niggas going to turn to women or niggas going to start. Because that man, that white man, that's a beautiful bitch. I'm not going to lie to you. That was one. You, no, I seen that shit. Like, bro, this can't. But the crazy, he went viral because everybody was saying, no way in hell this could be a, ever was a nigga. Yeah, yeah, okay. Y'all better be careful. You know, you better be careful. Or, 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 I'm just I'm just saying for men, stop letting these bitches tell you what you're supposed to do and what you got to do. You can always settle for one of these motherfucking men who turned into a woman now. You ain't never going to know. If I, you say, if, I swear to God, I wish I knew how to do like artwork. I, would post, I almost wanted to make a video, but I know social media. Not, I can talk here, and it's cool. I wouldn't care about like people listening to the show, and we can have a debate. They'll talk about it. But I don't want to post it on social media. Like I said, I just, bro, sometimes some people just, you, you would take it out of context. They do that shit to Joe Button all the time. I don't like that. I'm, they be doing my man dirty. But um, but but real. But no. All jokes aside, though. Like I was looking like, dog. I don't know how much money that costs, but this really look like a bad ass bitch right now. Like you look at him and look. I can look at him in any Instagram model. I'm like, bro, he look just like them. He did. He real life look like he could be related to a Kardashian. I'm like, nigga, what you gonna do? You gonna keep arguing? No, imagine me arguing with a, a fucking. A woman with lunch lady arms and a double chin, and I could just go ahead and get with her. I'm out of I'm sorry, bro. Oh, I could turn myself into one. The fuck are you talking about? I could just keep working. I work and get like 60 bracks and just, like, I'm just, I'm no, whatever. Some of that stuff be free sometimes at the house. Yeah, oh, I could just move to San, I can move to San Francisco and I can just live a whole different life. And like I said, but guess what? My whole thing is one porn hub. I didn't know porn hub pay for views now. I was watching, shout out to the uh, 85 South show. They had uh, Miss Be Nasty on there. Y'all know who that is? Mm-mm. Oh, bro. Her sound of her noise. You, wanted... you know who she is? No, I mean, when you talked about her on here. 
Oh, I, I did play her shit on here before, but she is one of the loudest. I'm before the show over after the used to the, cut the YouTube joint off. I, oh my god, though, bro, she is just one of the loudest women ever. Like, I probably would be blown if that was like in real life, and I'm dealing with her and she get that loud because it just be like, bro, why are you so loud? But anyway, she was saying that Pornhub now pay for the um pay for your views. Mm. So however many views you get, I, you get you verified know, on Pornhub. Um, for the for the older videos no the you can you can no she said so after you get verified you can you can go back and claim all your old videos oh damn that's all right because some of them, a lot of them old ass videos got hella numbers exactly so then they'll pay and they'll so like but i don't know if they will pay for it i don't know if they will pay you for all the old numbers but whatever numbers that that video get after, after that after, after you claim it after, after you claim okay. it then you, you can still get it and i'm just like mike making y'all a lot of money up here man what <laughs> no, but listen to what I'm saying. But I'm just, I'm just only thing. It, nah, I swear to God. But it was just, it, I mean, that, this was just a wild conversation. But anyway, I do feel like, man, y'all stop letting these women talk to y'all crazy, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, late, I tell ladies, y'all, you better start marrying some of these good men because y'all go chase these men to become women or start dating new women. Yeah, but not turn my brother into a girl. Shit, nigga, I make millions. I'm telling you, no, Matt, listen to my, the name of my book. No, no, listen to what I'm saying. The name, I would, one, I would be a hoe, and the name of, no, and listen to what I'm saying. I would be a hoe, and then the name of my book will be From 600 Women to I Had to Become One. 600. Boy, that's a New York Times bestseller. Nigga, that's a New York Times, listen to what I'm telling you. Nigga, that's a New York Times bestseller. Imagine that from Mike, no. I feel like that, Mike, you could not get away with one. Your feet is fucking big. Like, this nigga, so is Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, you got no. a lot of work to do, buddy. Yes, you got you got a lot of work to do. You gonna be a big bitch. Yes, nigga, so is Meg. So, no, I feel like some of that stuff you could tell. How? What's the? What's the? What's the? Um. What's the Kardashian did uh did fucking um they keep um saying that OJ the uh What's the Kardashian? You talking about Chris? No, 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 no. They they said they said he was um Yeah, he just did a joint and said that uh he was um matter of fact he, Who OJ did it? Yeah, OJ just did a joint. He was on that uh He was. He was oh, on. he admitted? No, 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 he, he no he denied it. He denied it. That's not his daughter. She looked just like that. Chris was a cute girl. She was really nice. But, you know, I was, I was dating. Was you know, you know the rumor. You know the rumor. You know rumor. <laughs> but the rumor ain't true. It's not even nowhere close to being true. People, some people think, like, you might be Khloe Kardashian's no, real dad. No, I'm not. Because, like, Kim's, like, 5'5", five, five, Courtney's, like, 5'3", and then Chloe's like, 6'2". Well, I've, six I've foot seen two. the family say something about a cook or something, but I don't know. It was thought Chris was a cute girl. She was really nice. One, OJ, you wild disrespectful. That's disrespectful. Imagine a nigga saying I thought you was a cute girl, but I was fucking supermodels. Like, let's cut this shit. I mean, what's wrong with that? Right. You nigga, know, what's wrong with it? You talking about her nails. I mean, I don't even know what she looked like now, but I'm just like, nigga, that's just wild disrespectful. Like, you sitting here saying like. She ain't look how she looked now. Yeah, I mean, that picture that picture that they had when they played, when he said she was a cute girl, him and her beside each other, like, yeah, that wouldn't be my speed neither. But anyway. Back into the, the story, what I was saying, but I could just imagine how much money I could, bro. That would literally be a New York Times bestseller. Just man who used to fuck so many women, and he just got frustrated with black women yeah, and became right a woman of his own. Please, somebody. You need Jesus. He needs a match. <laughs> he needs a match of his own, but he need it all. Please, somebody say this, Nick. Hey, Mo, listen to it. No, I'm just thinking business wise. That would be a great business move. Then if you had the OnlyFans, oh my oh boy, my, my shit would ring off. You got to think about how many people would want to see just off the tree, like, damn, this what? nigga Mikey turned Who? into a woman? No. Who paying for that, Mikey? You crazy as shit. I'm sorry. My, my subscription off the rip going to be fucking $100. So you going to get... No, I'm, I'm going to go low. I'm going to go low. I'm going to say 50 Oh, yeah, 50, 50 a month for the subscription. The first month going to do numbers. I'm going to make an M off the first month on my bad head. What's her name? Uh, Cash Me Outside Girl. Whatever. I don't know what her real name is because I can't pronounce this shit, but Cash Me Outside Girl. Oh, Why somebody scream and pull you and put you on one of them damn DMV hoods and news is over with? They don't need to go on there and see well, I'm going to sue their ass for a, cis, a cease and desist. Like, nigga, you don't put my I'm shit there for free. What's wrong with you, nigga? You, know? you petty, but you petty, too. Like, for real? You're not going to buy Michelle's OnlyFans. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, just, oh, just a second. That's pause. That, that's too much, too much on the gate. But um, Anthony Davis, I want to sit here. First, I want to say, 
fuck everybody who ever been in my comment section. Jason Anthony Davis. Oh, he ain't gonna be able to keep doing this. He gonna eventually get injured, bro. Niggas is like the power of the tongue is a wild motherfucking situation. I don't like the niggas real life was praying on my man downfall. Like that's some wicked ass shit. I don't think somebody was praying on downfall. They just knew it was coming. But he why knows. even keep? But like, but I'm not about to just keep speaking. I'm not gonna speak that into I mean, existence. Not, not anybody. necessarily like, speaking it up, but at the end of the day, it's a repeating history. Even that when, okay, I, I, like, perfect example, when Kyrie and and Kevin Love first, and I said that before, them both got to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. Neither one of them stay healthy. Both of them always had an injury here and there. Anthony Davis the same way. He always got an injury. But, but no, but okay, so I, I agree with what you're saying. That's cool, but niggas don't do that to Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, but I, I mean, Nigga, Kawhi Leonard has played no, the less but, games than fucking I, I, Anthony I, I, Davis. No, I'm, no, I hear what you're saying, but I feel like Kawhi Leonard, and that's why it's a lot of tension right now in in LA. They saying like he just, you know, I'm low management. Like, remember, he was he was the reason they all people started doing yeah, it. started doing the shit. You know, I'm going to San Antonio. Yeah. So let's not say that he's. We don't know for sure if he's really hurt. He might just be. You know, I right, I'm getting paid for it. Now, if they start making plays where well, we if we only pay you for the games you play, I'm pretty sure you probably play a lot more games. But that's why I say Anthony Davis is fragile. How many injuries he done had since he been? You there? know that shit, that injury he just got like the other night, nigga. That shit was in nigga. He what, didn't even hit the ground yet, and he grabbed his foot. I, like it seemed like the nigga nicked his foot. Like almost damn near was fucked up. It's, it's almost the same way. What was the big white? What's the big white boy that played for OKC? Yeah, okay, okay, uh, yeah. um, doing the Drew League. The rookie. Yeah. Damn, I feel kind of bad for him too, cause if he got to come and be a rookie in the same year that uh, this tall nigga that they eating his dick, uh. Oh. <laughs> hey, nigga, they are. Uh, you on today? God, you... Uh, uh, what's his name? Victor on the. I don't even know what the fuck his name is, but the tall ass nigga that everybody keep gassing up. And Travis Scott, let me tell you something. I, it's no way, bro. You talking about pose? Hey, I would never stood beside that nigga to take that picture. That picture looked like a pose. I'm not coming to a nigga waist, dog. I'm not grown ass man. I'm not no, taking no I'm picture gonna, beside no nigga. I'm standing I'm here in his you, waist. I'm gonna tell you a funny story. My coworker, this nigga short, he took a picture with Taco Falls, and he put it in there. I'm like, dog, why would you send this? You know, like we don't give a fuck, nigga. You had this nigga dick. You ain't, you can just stand up. Like, why the fuck would you even send this? Like, it's a bunch of dudes in. You gonna send this like it's a bitch or something? Like, nigga, we don't care about this shit. You stand at this nigga dick. Like, get the fuck Nigga, out that's here. exactly where Travis Scott was at. I'm like, I'm not taking this picture. You're not setting me up to take a picture at a nigga waist. Would you a stand too? Yeah, yeah, I would have. <laughs> what was that? What's that Kevin Hart commercial? Who who got a commercial with Kevin? It's Ke no, that's Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx got that com uh, commercial with Kevin Garnett. And he keeps standing on boxes until him and Kevin Garnett looking out of eye. I'm not taking no picture with no nigga. And I'm at his fucking waist, dog. I'm not a kid. That shit looks insane, dog. Fuck no, I'm not taking that picture. You crazy as shit. Man, I told myself I wasn't gonna cuss. Man, y'all and that gun and shit got me pissed off. I was supposed to not. I was trying to not cuss the whole episode, though. I, what? I swear to God, I was trying. Who he made that deal with? Right. Just with myself because it'd be like you, you, you know, because one, you can't clip it up and put it on goddamn TikTok. I, and you know what's so crazy? I don't know what get people like how you get red flags and certain shit on that joint. And I just be like, I'm just trying to be on my best. That's why I don't cuss in none of my videos. I nigga, I, I be. On on none of them jumps because even if you do it on if you took cuss too much on Instagram they'll demonetize your jump like nigga you gotta damn to be like you working at Disney Channel nigga what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> your shit gotta be PG like a motherfucker like god damn like you're not adults and these kids don't curse oh fuck exactly like nigga I feel like I could find a video every week of somebody cussing um I don't, I don't I do not feel like I don't want to speed through too fast Curry Hill said yeah. oh yeah Youngbird, a.k.a. Hitmaker, says he can't wait to find it. What do you say? Let me quote him verbatim. I'm ready for a pretty female rapper to bring bars back. I'm tired of the over, um, the over-sexual pussy rap. So he went wrong right there. Why? Why do you got to be pretty? I get what he's saying because I think people don't right. give. But, but see, that's, that's, you should just make it right. I mean, you that's discrediting the actual females that actually can rap. But okay, so, they have to be pretty for you to sit here and pay them But money. the fucked up thing about it, that's just society. That's not even him. That's I women. Because why women? Let's be real. Let's, do you know any women that listen to Rap, rap City? No. Nope. We listen to her. Niggas listen to her. But women don't listen to her. Who's Rap City? My fucking point. <laughs> that's my fucking point. Exactly. My ba but people compare her to J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Like she's the female version. She don't she is literally just she's a rapper's rapper. Like she don't over sexualize herself. She don't talk about like the pussy shit or none of that. She literally be rapping for real. She be rapping about real shit. But women don't listen to her. 
So, and I think that's why I get what you, I get what Mark is saying. In a perfect world, yes, why does she, why does the woman have to be pretty? It shouldn't have to be that. But the way society is I now. What's wrong with pretty? I feel like Cody, right? Is she considered a rapper or? Yeah, but she don't be. Well, she kind of. She She's don't be, cute. But she don't be rapping, well, rapping. Really not ugly. She ain't, she ain't like pretty, pretty, but she, she. No, she listen, to, okay, but, but, no, 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 of course, both of them, of course, no, of course, no, I, did, I agree with you on that, but when we talking about rapping, rapping, you talking about, like, like when Remy Ma and, and Nicki Minaj no. first came out. So Nicki Minaj wouldn't be considered as pretty? She yeah, but Nick, body but, body. but, but Nicki is more on the pussy rap side now than it is, well, Nicki last couple shit, she was a spinner, she'd been spinning the block and catching the ops. Megan? Yeah, but Megan count will lean. Megan will lean to pussy more than bars. Oh, that's her. Yeah, she cute. She looked regular, regular girl. She cute. Um, who else? I mean, I feel like Gorilla really made the the change for people to just look regular now. Well, I do think Asian Doll chimed in. I can't. I didn't see. I, I wasn't really trying to. Look. Look for her comment, but did she did chime in? I do think Asian Doll probably is one of the better looking, aggressive male rap. I mean, I was about to say male, female rappers. Female rappers. But she don't got a bunch of balls. She just aggressive as a motherfucker. But does she got any hits and stuff? That's the big thing. She do she have a hit? No. Who? Asian, Asian Doll. Doll. Uh, you might count none of that. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Oh, okay. That's uh, right. None of okay. that shit. That, that, you can count that kind yeah. as a hit. I, I mean, I, in that today's in, 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 in today's society, what people call a hit, a you could, that, that, that could be. She not a one hit one to fuck, no. She, she got, to me, she got songs way better than yeah. that. I'm not even really no, a fan no, no. of that song. But, but those other songs were a hit. But did they, like, blow No, no, up? no, okay. no, 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 no. But, but, I, but again, we had that conversation before about the one hit wonder shit. It's like, uh, you I ain't gonna say she. I, she, she definitely not a one hit one one because she's she's more she's still to, relevant. She's relevant. I mean, I feel like she's more relevant off of her comments and her always talking shit to people on social media than she is more about the music. To be honest, she stay on the fucking shade but room. Or no, no, no. She calmed down but a lot, but at but one point in time, one hit wonder. She only had one hit, and she she just that was it as far as rap career wise. She make other music, but it ain't been no hits. Yeah, not I, again. I think it, the hits is just if you actually. How many hits do you feel like Young Dolph got? Maybe like maybe two, three, maybe. Give me the ones you feel like is hits. I don't know if it's on my head. <laughs> I just think I'm just like throwing it out there, and throwing a number out there. All right, preach. Yeah. Get well, paid. Yeah. And what you feel like was the third one? What else is on there? I mean, I'm a young dog fan, so I can go. But you can't do that. It gotta be like shit that major. everybody knows. What's major? Uh, gloss on a Mercedes, nigga. Yeah, that's major. Uh, uh, something, something. Yeah, that's major. That was a song, but I don't know if that was a real hit. Hit. Preach. Was oh, he was on. Song. He was on cut it. He was definitely on cut it. Yeah. The sad thing is the DM, the Shy Glizzy version is probably still bigger than the regular, the regular version. Yeah, it is. Way bigger. Yeah, it yeah. is. See, that's not... definitely one down. But is that that's him? Hey, but, but, okay, so per, so per, even so perfect example though. Even if you go on, like if you look at his his essentials on Apple Music, they got hits for Young Dolph. Major's number one, mm -hmm. and and that does to me don't make no sense. How the fuck is Major over Preach or yeah, Get Paid? Yeah, because Get Paid was definitely number one before Preach. Because it even came out. No, before no, no. Preach, no Preach came out before Get Paid. Really? Yeah, Preach came out on uh, High Class Street Music Volume Four. Get Paid came out on... What album was that? I can't tell this album. Give me one second. Some of this shit load up and tell you. It was on um, King of Memphis. Get Paid, young nigga. Yeah. Get Paid. I don't know. But it's definitely them two. No, I don't know if it changed because we... Because this is a... That's the thing I hate about when rappers die. Like, 100 Shots is his second jump. Oh, 100 Shots. And that's what... about that one. A hundred shots, a hundred shot. shots, pussy nigga. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, and the third one was, uh, don't play with me, go play with your bitch. When he was dissing your, your yeah, guy. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one too. All four of them. Hits. You, so, oh, so you feel, so. Hits. So I said, what I say? But I feel like, but okay, but just, but, so, but going back to hits though, but I feel like that young, I feel like, uh, uh, I mean, any of them shits. I feel like a hundred shots and don't play with me, play with your bitch. I feel like you have to be a young Dolph fan to know those songs. 
They were his songs, though. Everybody know them songs. No, I, I agree with what you said. I'm not disagreeing with you, but all I'm saying is I feel like that's because you actually, one, because you, because the area we in, people here love Young Dolph. So if you go out enough, I'm sure like any smart DJ would play all those yeah, songs. Yeah, they would. And especially after his death, day, you would have played both all them songs. Preach is definitely, definitely get played. No, like, Preach is a, a real, that's yeah, a mainstream that's, hit. Yes. That shit get played. Any, you liable to go anywhere. And that's no, of course. Uh, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pre Preaches. But that was that four song, five songs, hits? Yeah, I think we, we said. That was four or five? What'd I say? Two yeah, we said five. Three? You said two or three, so five. Yeah. Five. Mm, yeah. Oh, and, 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 if we, and if we count, cut it six. Oh, yeah, I forgot about cut it. So yeah, I mean I don't I don't know I mean I guess back to the initial conversation what we was having was what uh, Hitmaker was saying I, I do think like I say in a perfect world of course it shouldn't matter what the woman look like but in today's society realistically we know it do I matter. I feel like it shouldn't look as long as they look you know up to par. I mean either way when you get in the industry they're gonna change something about you regardless. I'm glad they didn't do that with Corley Ray or Glow Real. I'm glad they let both of them. Glow Real got her teeth done. Yeah, I mean, about? but that was her nigga. Her teeth was insane. But that's still changing something. Nah. I mean, I, I don't. You saying body wise? I'm saying like they're gonna change something. But like that's like you sitting here. That's like you sitting here saying that you didn't want her to change her her texture of weave neither. That's like certain shit that's just like come on, dog. I'm just saying they're gonna change something when you get in the industry. Something changes, even if it's even if it's small. Or even if it's big, you something. But 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 look, but we could be. But the only reason why, only thing, only reason why I don't want to sit here and say getting the teeth, because that's almost like health. Because if you got rotten teeth in your mouth, guess what? Your breath won't smell like dog shit. <laughs> what? Saying. That's a fucking fact. If you got, or if you got, if you got teeth, if your teeth fucked up, you right. ain't never, you ever had your teeth fucked up so bad you had to put numbing cream on them shits because you had, like, you might have had a cavity that you had to go get worked on. Nigga, that shit ain't no joke. That motherfucker is the worst headache of all time. No, I just had one. I had to get some razor. So, so my wisdom teeth, my wisdom tooth pulled, it came in. So that, so that's my point. So though that thing, that's why I feel like with teeth, that almost go lined with health. So it's kind of like. Can you you can't really kind of like you can't brush that shit off too much, especially for her to have a big ass record like she. Did. That's all people would have talked about what is her teeth. teeth. Every, and she didn't get her teeth. Wrong with I'm just saying though, regardless when you get in the industry, I just feel like you changed something. Something about you changed, and that's that's I mean that's a part of being in the industry though. Yeah, I mean you're right. I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going to disagree with that. But I'm just glad they just didn't fuck with their body type. No, yeah, that, I'm glad about that part. Yeah, allow that shit to cook. And I, and I think realistically they won't because I think that's like to that kind of nail for both of them. That's their brand. Right, and then that goes to show that they got confidence too. It's mm -hmm. okay to be who you are. Like. You ain't gotta have a fat ass and titties sitting up just to be famous and to be a female rapper. Yeah, you do. You 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 don't need that shit. Um, damn, let me. Why are we talking about Glorilla lip service? Is that clip on there? I sure don't. I had a bad experience with the road. Like I was using it so. Sure. Are you nasty too, you think? If people were like, if I had to say about Glorilla and Bad, she is nasty. I'm doing some nasty, like, I do some shit that I never heard of. <laughs> like, what? We need examples. Oh, okay, so y'all do drink nut, right? Yeah, everybody yeah. smile. Okay, we just so, say smile yeah. drink nut sound like, nasty. I said, huh? Drink nut does sound nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say what I was thinking about. I said, I don't drink nut. But I have it, but I'm looking forward swallow to it. Clap. <laughs> like, baby. <laughs> It's just so corny to me. Oh my god, boy! It's like, <laughs> uh -oh. I'm scared. It's some weird shit. But okay, stop it. We just got done eating, right? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. No, just hey, tell 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 you two are in now. This, yeah. All right, so stop it. We just got done eating. Then we got sex right after. And some food. I'm gonna still eat it. So if people know that like, none of my food, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> It's like dressing. I gotta get my fries real quick and I'm gonna eat it. None of my fries. That is crazy. <laughs> I never even thought to do that. She give me. Hey, Mo, pause one real quick. I wouldn't mind being her friend because she goofy as shit. No, she is funny as shit. She is goofy as shit. But the net on the fries thing is ridiculous. She I did come out and say she was just playing. But my question, I've been asking women, would you have? Would you eat some nutty fries? No, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm definitely okay. <laughs> <laughs> You as a man, would you want to put? Would you want the girl to even like put some, put 
Would you want to? Would you want to put your nut on a fry? You talking to whack a mole? That's crazy. Would you want to? Would you want to put your? Let me ask you this. Would you want to put your nut on some fries and let your, watch your girl eat it? Or, or now that she didn't put no. Originally in my brain, no. But now that she didn't put it in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I almost want to see what what woman would do it. You want it as you want it as some as a dressing on the salad. You gonna put it? No, nah, that's no, nah, that's crazy. No, it's not. Fuck. The fries. I just want to see the fries because she said fries. I'm not going like a salad. Like, oh, let me let boo. Let me go make you a salad, and I'm just gonna go and jack. <laughs> <laughs> this shit tangy. I mean, you mix it in with the regular dressing. This is the extra dressing. <laughs> no, nah, that's fucked. Very healthy for you. Oh my god, that's fucked up. But real quick, before all of our fellas is listening. If you just want, if you want to kind of see, like, one, you want to see if your girl got any culture for real, send her the French fry emoji. And if she don't get it, the one that she don't that bitch don't got no culture. She don't have no damn humor. No, she just, she just might not know. know. She just might not have. No, yeah, you just don't have no culture. You just not hip to what's going on on social media. I if I, if I just said, if I, if I sent you the French fry joke yesterday, you wouldn't. Now that I'm saying it, so people can hear. It, but I'm just saying people should try it. Like, send your girl the, what broad you fucking with, send her the French fry emoji, and then see if she get it. So if she don't get it, she ain't with it. I mean, she, if she don't get it, I just feel like she just lacks culture. That's cool. You got to put your girl on game. So speaking of girl, really, she said she was charging $500 for um her personal assistant. Yeah, she was saying, she but said she, she broke it down and it made sense. But it didn't say like. Did she say she was paying for food? If she paid for food. She did because she said flights, food. Like I'm feeding you. I'm I'm paying for your flights, your hotel. Um, she said that shit expensive. Clothing, I, like all that, like all that stuff. Like that shit is expensive. Like if that be like uh, tomorrow, I need a flight. And it's a last minute flight. Yeah, you have to cop up some money. Yeah, no, oh, of course. But just uh, and then I to keep and tie that in. Money man said he gives his assistant five thousand a month. So that's kind of more like what's that a week? Five thousand a month. What's that, like 1300 a week? Yeah. That ain't bad. No, no, that's not bad at all. I, that's not bad at all. Then it's kind of like, well, you've been rapping way longer than her. So I feel like for her, it's... I think it all depends on how busy you are. Yeah, how busy you are. And then just, she didn't have that big of an artist. She, like, she just, she just getting it. And, and I think, that, but that's the thing where, again, I don't like the internet because, like, they bullied her to be like, what type of crackhead shit you trying to pay motherfuckers? And it's just like... How much money y'all think she's she getting said, right for now? Real, for real, everything that she listed on it, you really wouldn't even be doing like that. She that list, yeah, that shit like. She, what she was the What was the list? I ain't, I didn't see the list. I sent it to you, nigga. What you mean? Like what you had to be qualified for it? No, not the qualified for the list oh. that you the um the um the description of what you will be doing on the list. I didn't even look at the. Um, I was that qualified. What was the qualifications? That was a lot. Like you got to be able to. Multitask, organize this. I mean, that makes sense, though. And, I mean, yeah, it makes sense, but it was a lot for you to say you only paid five hundred. Because was, she said it wasn't a lot for you to really do for referral. Like she said, half the stuff that was on there, you really wouldn't be doing. Ain't nothing. She was like, you just gonna be like running to the store if I need you to, or um, getting like my clothes together for stuff like that. Like it's little stuff for referral. Right there with her, like I, I do feel I, my only thing is, I guess, for that type of job, you just ha have to have the mentality of I'm here to realistically kind of network and just get my foot in the door. You can't yeah. be looking at it just on some paycheck, shit. no, you can't. Like, if you're looking at it just on on just straight money, you of course, that, get your feet wet. yeah, that shit is don't you can't look at it just for money. If you're looking at it for just for money, that's just dumb as shit. But if you're looking at it like, hey, I'm gonna take my chance to really just get in the door, learn how to even just move around in right. the industry, you feel me? Mm because -hmm. a lot of people that's a lot of people burn out fast, even if you're talking about just imagine like how many people burn out fast when they get popular on social media because you just wasn't mentally ready for that right. shit yet. Just imagine, like, your very first video, boom, it go and viral. Up, yeah. And then you kind of don't know how to deal with it. Like I'm saying, going back into the just then, the yeah. comment section and shit. Motherfuckers, crack, motherfuckers call it quits off of social media, if, especially if you got content where people may get in the comment section and troll you. Like, of course, if you want any super positive people and everything you post is just positive, nobody really going to troll you. But if you giving up your opinion and you saying a shit that people may want to fucking com combat... Nigga, if you're not mentally prepared for that shit, nigga, you won't care. you gonna call it quits early as shit. But it also, I mean, let's think, shit, you don't know how long this might just be a you know, a fling right now for for Gorilla. 
we don't know if the longevity on that. Too. So, like I said, the 500 is not, you know what I'm saying, for right now. It's not bad for now, if she, now, let's longer. say that now, she started winning some Grammys and all that, then, sure. I, then I can understand, well, 500 not hell, no, I ain't doing that. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't be but, Diddy assistant for $500. He ain't paying that for that. He's he, he going to pay way more than that. What's your comment? Used to be his assistant, right? Who, Mr. Bentley? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Bentley used to put that shit. He used to on. put that shit on. I had that for that motherfucker. <laughs> Mr. Bentley used to put that shit the fuck on. Like, that's when Diddy was Diddy. That definitely was. That's when he like. And the good thing about him too was he he still was going out when he had making a bang because he was on the show and everything. Like that shit. That that was a good come up. If it, I mean, at the time. When you think about it. I, I remember I asked somebody a minute ago. I think he do got an Instagram page. I can't remember. But I do remember having that conversation. Like, damn, what the fuck happened to Mr. Bentley? Like, it's just certain motherfuckers. Like, even a like, perfect example. Murphy Lee used to be like, when I know. Especially that's like when Dre is like really got popular. Like, women used to be on Murphy Lee dick. I seen an interview. I'm like, damn, Murphy Lee kind of fell off like a bad batch of crack. He mm -hmm. gained endless weight and some more shit. But it's just like. I feel like that's gonna come with age three old people. Yeah, no. Look at Nelly though. Nelly ain't Nelly ain't putting on no motherfucking weight. Look at LL Cool J. I think it just depends on if you value your brand. I think for certain niggas, it's like just like LL or Nelly. These niggas know, like nigga, my brand is I'm I'm a sex symbol. I have to look good. I'm not about to just let myself fall. Off. Shit, even fucking Tank and Genuine, like them niggas is old as shit. But all them niggas still in good shape. I think it just depends on how you value your brand. But I do think sometimes some people when we go back to gen, you can still tell in their face, like Genuine, he gained weight. You can tell he gained weight in his face. But like you said, he still look good. But yeah, for his, but, but for his, for of course, genuine for his age. But L, but LL Cool J, Nelly, and Tank, them three niggas look good for whatever age. Yeah, but also, Nelly still look like I'm stomping in my Air Force Ones. Nelly. No, Nelly was way much smaller than. He was way more smaller. smaller but but we, I'm talking about physical, yeah, smaller because he wasn't he, as diesel as he yeah, is yeah, now. And that's I think that's just on, on lifestyle. Yeah. If Murphy Lee not in front of the camera or he's not doing nothing, why do you really think he care? I, I, he probably living a normal, regular, regular, life. regular life now. But even so, but so oh, okay, you know what's so crazy? Just because we talking about that, and I do, and y'all know I'm just like a, a huge critic, especially with the niggas that work at ESPN. I always wonder like. Do they work some of these niggas too much that they can't take care of themselves? What you mean work too much? Like when I see every time I see fucking Kendrick Perkins, I'm like, dang, you just don't give up. You always said it about Charles Broccoli. But, and, but um, nigga, they not. Who's, like? who's in the gym? What am I in the gym for? I'm not playing basketball. Yeah, I just want to be in shape for my life, nigga. Health. They don't. They don't. They. I feel like they feel like they got enough money that like. It's yeah. cool if I just kick the bucket too, right? I'm just saying. But I mean, but they, but you, hold up, you got to think about it. They've been in shape most of their life. So now, so now, now it's just like, like just most people when they retire, I, I'm retired. I'm, you right. know. I, I get, no, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not, all I'm just sitting here, I'm not even talking about for niggas to be strong. I'm just talking about if a nigga just get on the treadmill every day for a fucking hour. That's all I'm, I'm just like, I look at shit and just like, damn, you just don't give a fuck. Like, you literally just get on this camera like, I just but ate some a fucking. Like just, I mean, you got to think about it. Some of them are natural born athletes. So you like, oh, okay. I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not working out every day. You know what I'm saying? But they don't have to. Like, they cool. had to. They had something to prove then. And that was their job. But now, I'm comfortable. I can just get up and just chill. Like, get up, go to work, get dressed. And yeah, that's why you got respect motherfuckers. Like, but, and, but, but that's why, like, a lot of them, they got so many sources of income or doing other shit. You got their hands and everything. Because, like, you ain't you ain't on the court no more, so you're not right. making that money. So you got to, all right, we're going to invest in this. You know, do that, do that. I ain't got to, what the hell I'm going to the gym for? I'm, I got to, oh, but listen, I hear, listen I'm, I hear what y'all saying. I'm just speaking on, I'm, one, I'm speaking on the look, but I'm also, the way you, the way you look, especially if it's, I can clear as day see you've gotten older and you gained a lot of weight, bro, that shit still health wise, that shit matter. Like, that's what I'm talking like, we can't, you can't keep pushing it off like it don't matter. I'm, nigga, I'm sure. Well, I don't know, Shannon Shop may be just a different type of beast, but I just be like, man, certain niggas still take care of it. Like, look, when you look at every nigga on the pivot, I, and the crazy thing is, I'm sure motherfucking Channing Crowder, when he was original I'm athlete, he was the worst, he's still the worst dressed nigga on, I, on the pivot too, but I watched him lose a lot of weight. And he probably, because he probably, motherfuckers in the comments, he kept going viral for talking shit about Russell Wilson. I'm sure motherfuckers got talking shit about his weight, so he started taking care of himself. But when I look at Ryan Clark, Ryan Clark, like, he can still play football right now. 
It's just certain niggas, or even like Dominique yeah, Foxworth. Right. Some of them niggas still take but care of themselves their because. Body, but that's also their body type. Kendrick Perkins was never a small dude. Never. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, 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 I'm with you on that, but that don't necessarily mean you can get way smaller now that you don't play no more. You don't need that big ass size or what? You're not about to sit here and wake up and go go to the gym. And Shaq do it. Shaq. And look at Shaq. He, he don't look smaller. like it. Yeah, he, he, no, no, but Paul, look, Shaq is just a big nigga, but Paul's no homo. Shaq is in physical looking. Shaq looked like he in better shape now. When them little pictures, again, Paul's no homo. Them pictures that Shaq been posting when he been working out without no shirt on. He looked like he in better shape now than he was when he played with the Lakers. Shaq was a fat fuck when he was playing for the Lakers, and that was why him and Kobe always used to beef, because Kobe was like, damn, this nigga come in the fucking training camp big as a fucking house. Uh, I get, I get it. Everybody don't give a fuck about their health. I'm just, I'm just spreading the word to the people but who do give a fuck you, about your health. Just because you a little thick or whatever, that mean you out of shape or you, you don't care about your health. Do you think Charles Barkley give a fuck about his health? Would have ain't nothing wrong with him though. He just a fat body. He got yeah. fat hair. Some bitches have fat bodies. Right. You never seen him skinny when his rookie year. That was the only time he was skinny. Y'all, if y'all think you ain't skinny, I'm not. But nigga, but, I'm, I'm, but but I'm sad. But but that but you you're bigger than what you were before. Right. So, but realistically, I still know this is a perfect example. Even for me, nigga, I pay attention to my fucking cheekbones. I know, all right, nigga, I need to go down at least another five so my shit can be like down down. But that's but what that I'm saying. But, but, but you don't know. But we don't know. Like, you, don't you don't know, know what know. what point in their life or what they going. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like they probably just comfortable or you know it is what it is. But that don't mean you got health problems either. Right. Like, that's what I'm saying. All right, but just real quick, and we can get off this. I don't, I, like I said, I just want people to take care of themselves. And for everybody who's listening, if you got to walk around with a towel in your pocket to wipe your sweat, wintertime, summertime, bro, go to the gym. I, I hear what y'all are saying. I just tell them, I, I would like for people to get as old as they possibly can. And if that is only taking you an hour a day to actually just get your ass on the treadmill or stair master, whatever form of cardio you are comfortable with, bro, just give yourself an hour. That's all I'm saying. I'm not, I don't want, I don't, I hear all the shit y'all saying is cool. If you don't give a fuck and you don't care about your shit and you 50 years old and your dick don't work no more, cool. I mean, that's going to happen regardless of all No, men. the fuck is not. Yes, it does. Yeah, right. Then if that's the case, they wouldn't have invented blue pills for niggas. Yeah, because for niggas who don't take care of themselves. No, at some point, men's things. Do, 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 okay, so you know why? You, you Did you know high blood You know high blood pressure and diabetes is the reason why niggas' dick stop working? Yeah, but the medication. When you, when you get on that medication, it, it fuck your dick up. Yeah, it does. So, so listen to what I'm saying. If I'm a man, you why would I sit here and keep allowing myself to get to the point where I want my dick not to work? It's going to stop working at some point anyway. It ain't going to work forever. Yeah, I'd rather stop working at 70 than, and then stop working at 50. I can get 20 more years out of my dick. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? Of course, I, I'm trying to get that extra 20 out. What the fuck I just want? Yeah, I want my shit to be go dead, and I got 20 well, years to go. You keep whacking at your motherfucking shit. You, exactly. It's you, go, dead you ain't even going to make the 50, goddamn it. <laughs> you can't get a new transmission, guy. <laughs> goddamn whack a mode. Ooh, child. That used to be motherfuckers' favorite junk doing argument. Yeah, you keep on, man. You young. You keep fucking all these bitches. And your shit ain't gonna work when you get older. You better slow down. You think it's cool fucking three or four bitches a day. When you get 30, 40 years old and your shit don't work. But tell me three, they're kind of right. What? Did you use did your bus out? I mean, blow your transmission? No, you blow your transmission. You might fuck around and draw one. What you mean? That, I think that's probably what they were saying. You fucking all these bitches, you might fuck around and fuck wrong one. At some point, they say men things start working after a while. I mean, it'll come back. Just like women, like sometimes they say they don't be in the mood when they ser- turn a certain age. Sometimes the nigga pick back up. You just never know. Yeah, Everybody's well, different. Niggas, niggas ain't corny as they used to be. You don't. At some point, like, like when you, you don't get tired of fucking all these different bitches. Like, come on now. Even and in a lazy marriage, motherfuckers don't get me horny even, like you used even to. Even in a marriage, you've been married with somebody for twenty years. You really think at the twenty years y'all still gonna be fucking like how y'all was fucking when y'all first met? So, no, so but, listen, but okay, but but do you think okay? No, but do you think? Uh, but, I hear, listen to what I'm saying. I hear what you're saying, but let's be let's be let's Especially be real. Especially when you get older. I hear what you're saying, but do you think the sex died down when you get older because of your old age, or because I just don't find my partner as attractive as I did twenty years ago? No, I think it's the age. I I because I, I, I feel like it could be a little bit of both. But but also I feel like. 
I used to want, oh damn, I want it all the time, but you know, I've just been at work all damn time. Right. I'm not, I'm not okay, so, so, okay, so my question is, for what at what age do y'all feel like y'all cool if y'all only get sex with maybe once a week? I don't know. I ain't get that. Right now, <laughs> I ain't get that in life. Yeah. Too much work to try. But out. I mean, so you cool right now in your thirties, Marcus? You good money once a week? I'm okay with that now. I could do once a week. Damn. I ain't that horny. Fuck that shit. I'm tired. I ain't gonna hold you. I can't wait to get into a motherfucking relationship. I'm trying to beat them. Children. That's what I'm saying though. Like, all right, and then y'all get married, and then ten but years you... from now, you're not even gonna be doing this. Like, like that's what I mean when I said that shit is. Cause I don't, I don't, it's not even about sex no more. I, I agree with you. I'm not disagreeing with you, but sometimes I wonder: is that because you're so used to your person? Because your person starts. I mean, to, is that I, you start it's, to let yourself go right, a little bit? It, but I don't feel like it's it, not even about, you, about letting yourself go. It's just not about sex no more. Like in the beginning, yeah, it is because it's something new. It's exciting, and but you got this person now. You gonna spend the rest? You married to this person? You you gonna spend the rest of your life with this person? You ain't gotta beat it up every day no more. This. I mean, this is who you're going to lay next to you in your bed to next, for the rest of your life. Why do we got have sex every fucking day? You're going to go to pound town that you're going to bore your fucking self out. I, I, listen, I don't disagree with nothing you're saying, but I'm just trying to figure out when do I get there. I can't be there after year one. I can't I be there year two either, neither. But even with year but, one, you I, ain't got to. Can you really be? If it's based upon sex, then it ain't. It's just sex. It ain't nothing else then. So when are you not in the mood? Right. That's what I'm saying. Every Days day you when you're super tired. Like, if you dumb, if you dumb ass tired, like, damn, I don't even, I, like, I barely can make it in the fucking house. I'm that fucking tired. Of course, those are the days where it's just like, and I, and I be even conscious. I'm like, damn, if you can do, if you can go this day without watching porn, then you can do this every day. It don't have to be like, you don't have to, you're, you're dragging it out because it, you're, it is realistically, it is some form of addiction. Because if you got days when you just that tired, you're like, bro, I don't even feel like touching my phone, even putting this bitch on the charger, let alone fucking going through these fucking sections to fucking find something to fucking watch. Yeah, so this nigga really need help. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm really do. starting to worry about I, this nigga. Real, God no, damn. Do, Mikey, like, just, that's yeah, that's abusive, cool. nigga. Because if, if you get in a relationship today, <laughs> Tomorrow, you won't have sex with this girl every day if she lets you. His shit probably not working because he's spanking too much. No wow. fucking way. Like you, you gonna be, you gonna get tired. Like you gonna, you gonna wear the pussy out. You gonna be, like what else? It ain't but so many different positions you can keep on doing in a matter of thirty days. You trying to fuck somebody thirty days you, straight, you, except, you, for, no, except no, for, you, except for the, except for the five to seven days that she on her cycle. The fuck. Yeah. You didn't mean you have nothing else. It's just sex. It's nothing else. It's no conversation. Y'all not going out like what? Like what else is it? Is it sex? That's it. That's all it's built upon. It's nothing else at all. You mean to tell me you get in a relationship today or tomorrow? You gonna go to Pound Town every fucking day and stuff for the days that she on her cycle? Well, Come the on now. He gotta put his phone down so he won't search. That's crazy. And then the days that and then those five to seven days you gonna use your phone. Come on now. Really? And see, oh, so hold, hold, hold up. So you just got to get it once. You're not going like rounds and rounds. No, nah, fuck. No, I ain't going no goddamn rounds. No, Nigga, that's not, one and done. I'm out of here. That's still too much. Seven days a fucking week. It, it might not. But listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying that now. I'm just talking shit right now because this is hypothetically. The last time I lived with a woman, it wasn't no everyday thing. But it was probably like, not. it probably was like three or four times a week. Because you're going to have your days, like, what this to say realistically, especially, okay, of course, everybody, don't forget, power and all that shit is about to get back in on full swing. Matter of fact, yeah, are we doing reviews on this best man shit? Yeah. All right, so that's that's. Y'all watching that? Yeah. Right. I don't know if they're going to release it weekly or if it's going to do the whole series on there and then you just binge watch it. Well, it's on Peacock, so, right? It comes out on the twenty second. On Peacock, yeah. yeah well, they probably do it weekly then because yeah, is that's the because um, they did day. they did Bel Air weekly, so I'm sure they probably that shit blows me oh, though. So we, since we talking about shows, can, Bella, yeah. can I ask you this question? What's like the worst thing you had to watch on a on like a, to get some set? Like you, you had to watch something to get some set. No, I'm, like you was over there or whatever. You know, like I don't know because I'm always picking. Oh, okay. Mikey, then, what's the worst thing you had to? What you had? What y'all had? The Kardashians. Do? That's the worst thing you had to watch. Kardashians. They get some pussy. Yes. What about you? You asked the question, Marcus. So what is? What was yours? I'm trying to think. The worst. It had to be some chick show. Of course. Movie, some chick movie. Uh, okay, real quick. Did y'all look at y'all phones? Did y'all see? Did y'all see the New York Knicks? Um. Like what I the, told you. The New York Knicks. Uh, what the fuck was that shit? The holiday party. 
I yeah, told, we, did I, I, did, did I we talked about it last week. No, we ain't no, talking no, talk about it last week. No, 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 but no, I told no, you, the episode. I told you, yeah. motherfuckers, dog. What? what? I ain't seen no, that queens. shit was. What queens crazy. did you see? Crazy. That was what queens did you see? Crazy. It was one black girl, right? No, nigga was all Man. white women in that fucking picture. I mean, she barely black, but yeah. right. It was a black woman in that picture. Where? Yeah, no, one of them was, and I think she was with a white guy. I think she was with a white guy. Right? She was with a white guy. Nah, where the fuck? Let me. She was definitely with a white guy. That sounds like it was one black girl. She was barely black, but she was with a white guy. Hold on, let me look at these plays. They all to the end, like to the right. All to the picture, yeah, to the right, I think. And she was definitely with a white guy. Where the fuck are you? I can't find this shit. That's it. Like I told you, most of them niggas is not. (coughs) Most athletes are that way. Unless it's like their high school sweetheart type thing. Oh, she is. That's fucked up. She got they got her all the way in the cut. That's what I said. She off to the right, right? And, all the way to the right. Yeah, she got yeah. the she got the white one. She the only one with a white, so they got her pushed up. They, yeah. he, he can't play on it. Why the fuck is he the only one dressed like that? He got a fucking fine one, and she got a white dress. I feel like he don't even play on the team. Did he play? He got to be on the team. He in the picture, right? I mean, that's the only reason why they all in the picture. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. This a white man with a black woman. It's only one black woman in this picture. Yeah. These niggas is. I just want to tell you, the New York niggas, y'all niggas is foul niggas. You said New York niggas, a lot of them teams are like that. I try to tell you. But Marcus, listen to what I'm saying. They made it a point. No, listen to what I'm saying. Niggas knew what they was doing. When they, when, when Say Cheese posted this picture, they knew what the fuck they was doing. They posted this for a reason. Because they knew there was all fucking white women in this fucking zone. Like, dog, this shit is crazy. Most athletes are like that. Most of them, they ain't white. Or Spanish or something else like they they don't they they oh race. Oh my god, these niggas. Are... And not only that, the only <laughs> ones that they black is the ones that be like their high school sweetheart or they already knew. Them. They invested in their kids. My, uh, my, real quick, I just all I'm just saying is, go ahead, Mark. You wild as shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Shit. <laughs> you t- what else? <laughs> but my only thing is just to women though. My my only thing will be is something when you see shit like this. Why do you feel like sometimes you want... I know some women who want to go, like, combative and say everything is a man's fault, men is this, that, and the third, and it just be like... At the but rate... What's the, but, okay, but what's the difference between a female saying, oh, I want me a ball player so my kids can be tall? I mean, my kid said that before. I know he did. He said Jamal that man. before, right? Oh, that I would date a, a tall woman so my kids can be tall? Yeah, yeah so they I said basketball, but that don't mean that they're going to be... They don't mean that they're going to do it. And what's the difference? I don't even think people think like that for real. Shit, real life. You, you gotta, crazy as shit. Why no, don't they? Th- I'm not thinking, oh, I want me a ball player. But so no, 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 but no, no. You, like, you, sometimes you really what? do got to pay attention. Like, damn, do I? I mean, really? I do think about, like, I ain't Genetic about to think, wise, like. No, no, I do think about that part. Like, oh, I'll be like, um, nah. Like, I'll yeah. talk to dudes and then they, they kid don't be right. Or something. I'm like, you think I would have a baby with you? Like, no, hell no. Nah. Fuck, man. I mean, be... I mean their part, but to be like, oh, I want to be with somebody because, yeah, if we have a kid. Th- no, I've never thought that. I've always done the opposite. I, I would say. Well, oh, you, you, what you, what you mean the opposite? What's the opposite? The opposite is I would not like if they already got a kid. I don't want to. I don't want to ever have a kid with you because your kid already something wrong with them. Damn, what you mean something wrong with them? Are you saying like you you met you dated people like they got like a special needs kid or something? Yeah, or that kid be oh they tell me a story about that kid or something and I just be like uh uh-uh. uh, I would never. But I've never been like oh I'll be with you, you see because why you don't your see kid. Not, that why ain't no queens in that picture? Because, <laughs> mm. Smart because investments. I mean, I've never been like oh, I'm gonna Smart be with a basketball player because I have a kid with her. Doing K twos. That's always and the and opposite. No, cup, I don't. Doing K twos and cut wood and all that it. shit. I'd be like no, I don't want it. Somebody recently told me that, too. Only one of these... How you ain't even catch that? Only one of these niggas actually got a bad jump, too. Who? Uh, Julius Randle. Derrick Rose joint? Nigga, Derrick Rose ain't in this fucking yes, picture. He is, he is, no, that's yeah. not Derrick Rose, boy. That's fucking... Um, yeah. That's... Uh, what's the new nigga from Dallas? I thought that was Derrick Rose. Fuck. The dreads? Yeah, no, nigga. That's the nigga from Dallas. Um, what the fuck is his name? I forgot his fucking name. Whatever the nigga name is, they just signed. That ain't Derrick Rose. <laughs> You sure? I'm positive that's not nigga. That's the nigga that came just from know, came from Derek Dallas. Rose, no, for a fact, that oh, nigga ain't Derrick Rose. Derek Look Rose. how short he is. That's not Derrick Rose. Nigga, Derrick Rose is short. What you mean? Nigga, Derrick Rose like six one, six two. This nigga's like 
barely six feet tall. Look how nigga, look how tall him and his girl damn near the same height. After, after that was Derrick Rose. Not Derrick Rose, Derrick uh, Rose. Oh, yeah, that ain't Derrick Rose. But shout out to Julius Randle, his wife, too. But these other Is that the Eliza, that girl? Well, Ju- I, I know for a fact that's Julius Randle's wife. But these, some of these other niggas may be too young to even be like, what's the nigga, uh, Obi Toppin? He too young. Damn, bro. You kind of got like a super regular jump, too. Like, he ain't even go crazy with the white. These niggas. And the other white boy next to Julius Randle, like, his fucking lady look like she fucking, like, an office clerk or some shit. These niggas crazy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas is fucking nuts. I ain't gonna hold you. I be talking shit and I be playing, oh, but I be I saying they nuts, but in their in their in their world, yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. That's their world, though. Yeah, that's their world. Yeah, that's their world. You don't it. see them on the shade room getting bashed. Yeah, got a point. Um, R&B group guy, yeah, R&B group guy. Keith Sweat is joining New Edition in the tw- on 2023. They going on tour. Y'all will go see that? No, I don't want to see that shit. No, I'm, I'm not, not going to see no old motherfuckers. I don't know. It's not my, that's not, no, I know their music, but I don't think I want to see them. <laughs> then you, then you, you think it's easy one. to get one night stands at that type of tour? One night stands? Yeah. Um... Like, women that go in to go see... Let me read these people off one nah, more time. I mean, cause, real, yeah, if yeah, women yeah, are going nah, to go yeah. see Guy, Keith Sweat, and New Edition in 2023. I don't know. I don't think there's a lot of... So the women, they, they are single. The women... Okay, so fuck you it. Think people people will... Women gonna go? But you... First of all, let me tell you, they, they, their age range is like 45 and up. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna say forty five and up. I'm but gonna say the capital one. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna say thirty. Is that, where is that? Is that capital one? Yeah. yeah. Let's say thirty six and up. Thirty six. That's okay. That's fine. Good age. What that mean? That that. I'm asking. Yeah. Do you think the women there are they going to be? They're gonna be easy. Looking? I'm saying it's gonna be easy fucks in there. Yeah, it's a lot. You can find that right now. Them, that age range and up at the go go. The older go go's like the older. No, nah, I ain't trying to get no old on that no go go. I'm cool on that one. I, I can... no, not you thinking go go. Like I'm talking about like what's them old bands that they be like? Like they call they like, like they... that fire. Uh, what's name joint? Damn, I should have went. What? The sneaker uh, bald head. The, 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 the sneaker guy the one that just had? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a gr- old, grown and sexy. Well, that was yes. a, This is in D.C. Yeah. It was on Saturday. Mm-hmm. I'd be so out the loop. You know what's so crazy? I don't even know if I could cash out on a one night stand no more. What do you mean cash out? Right. What you mean cash like, out? I don't even know. Like, how I, I'm not going to be able to shoot my shot. Why? Bro, I'd be nervous as a bitch. I'm, I'm really like. I, I, he shit on head. Head. Like, he can't nervous. do a one night stand because he fall in love. That nigga. You won't fall in love over one night stand? He might. Cause it's been so long. It been, no, it's, it, it, <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you though. You know what's so yeah, fucked up yeah. though? Real quick, women do have it like the easier way out to like kind of like ghost niggas, and you gotta kind of respect it. And when I say that, so it's just like let's just say like a woman be like, I just need to focus on my kids right now. I can't like I just need. I feel like I'm just not pouring enough into my kids. I really fuck with you, but I just need to <laughs> like fuck with my it's kids. Easy way out. kids. What can you say though? There's no ain't no comeback ain't for that. You can say. Because yeah, if a nigga say that to a woman, you like, can say it. You can, well, what, what can you say? We can work this but out. Together. I, know, I'm here I don't for know you. them personally, but I've heard niggas use that line. Yeah, like, I'm, 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 I'm here to support you. What you need? We you got niggas. You got, yeah, I know somebody who deal with you, a nigga. Niggas go pay And the nigga leave every night at fucking 2 o'clock in the morning. Like, he go to her house or whatever. He go to her house. He leave at like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning because he be like, he got to take his kids to school the next day. At 1 Bullshit. o'clock or 2 o'clock in the morning? Bullshit. 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 What kid go to school that early in the morning? No, I'm just saying he said he he got to leave her house to go home to be with his kids so he could be able to just go ahead and be, be able to take them to, to school in the morning. Is she okay with that? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I can understand it. What bullshit huh? is what it is. It's bullshit. At two in the morning? Never spend a night, even on the fucking weekends. Say so you, you oh, use, use that fucking that. line. That's just the way to get out the house. He don't never want to spend the night. And then just obviously mean he has a bitch for real. He live with another bitch for real. Let's be clear. You can read through the lines. Like, come on now. Ain't but what's a, but then but, uh, then my question would be two. One, that woman is dumb as fuck. And then she two, is. but but then two, my question would be, what's the woman that's allowing a nigga to come in the house at two o'clock in the morning or night? But that's cool though, because if you said that you out or whatever the case may be. What you doing? What you out doing every night? Working? I don't know. Yeah, that too. Using that. 
Yeah, motherfuckers be out here like using that shit. I does I said use that. A nigga can't say. Niggas use that shit too. But, but I, I feel like women kind. I feel like it's not a. You, you don't really bat an eye women. at it if you are, if you a nigga. You don't. If a woman telling you I need to focus on my kids. I really, I just, I'm doing this you on my own. You won't believe it because I'm a damn. You won't believe it, right? Because you don't have kids. Of course, so of course. But, you, so, but, but, but at the end of the day, you still are. It, don't get it twisted. It's a lot of. It's still a lot of motherfuckers out here that's our age that don't have kids. It's more people out here that do have kids, but it's still enough people out here that don't have kids. But that's what I'm saying. So because she said, I'm going to focus on my kids, well, you be like, well, damn, what else? You you know, do you need right. help? Like, what's going on? You see, I'm not doing it because I don't <laughs> you know. That's, that's, so that's you know, what I'm saying. If, so I, you, if I was a nigga, I'd be like, oh, all right. Like, that, that's, exactly, yeah, that's exactly, and that's exactly that's how I be. They, they, know, they know you ain't going, you ain't going. I'm not about to help you with your fucking kids. Nigga, they, where did daddy at? Or find another stuff off because it ain't me right here. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even going to like, that's your excuse with you gonna use and why you gotta be do your thing then go ahead and knock yourself out mom yeah cause I'm not fucking with it I'm sorry that shit is not for me I'm not 2020 um 3 I feel like you need to go out at least once a month for real no I, I was we, we I was supposed to but then it just I don't fucking even know what but, uh, yeah, 20, yeah 2023 for sure that for should sure. be a set goal for you yeah once a month once a month ain't gonna kill you yeah once a month go out what on a date or just go no out? just no, go, just go out. out like out just go out and I ain't talking about that go-go shit that you were raised and all of them. No, I ain't talking about that. I'm like, go out, go out. I don't care if you so this call is like, Marcus this and be like, like, a park, this is like a I mean, we can't, we could go out all three of us. That's fine, too. Can, what? I'm, I'm, can we hang with you? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yes, y'all okay. can. I don't know if we can hang I with you. I mean, too. like, what? What? I what? I don't know if I'm asking. Can we hang with you? Yes, y'all can. You, you seem to sound a little sophisticated. We might not fit in no, your crowd. No, no. Uh-uh. I'm not like that. I've been chilling. But no, I feel like you need to, to, um, Mikey. Maybe you do too, Mama. Maybe y'all need to check oh, on y'all's scenery. Out. You, you do be going out. You go out more than your brother do. Oh, I go. I do. But you need to go out at least once a month. Yeah, I do. Um, and shout out to Lil Fizz. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I know you're not about to talk about that shit. You know what's so funny? No, no, I was just that. I seen, like, and this was just, I don't even, I was, I know what I was doing on Facebook, but you know, like, Facebook got. You was on Facebook? Yeah, because I be had to post, I be had to post shit on Facebook just so I can um, promote the podcast. And I, and I do, and I still, the same word that I post on Instagram, I post it on Facebook too, um, every morning. But I just went on there to actually look at a story, and I seen, like, a girl had, an, and the crazy thing is, Facebook stories, their little Insta store, whatever they call it, mm-hmm. they let more shit go on there, John. I seen a, a fucking bra. I'm like, why is she posting a nigga like, damn, what type of nigga going out with his ass spread like that? Whole time, I didn't know, I didn't put two and two together. I didn't know that that was little Fizz. Yes, yes. Cause I'm just thinking a bra, like, just exposing a nigga, like a nigga sent the, like a nigga slid in the bitch DM and he post and sent her that picture. I'm like, damn, nigga, what type of. He's trying to say it wasn't him, right? He like, tried to uh, defend himself and say it wasn't him. I didn't see it at all, though. I just heard about it. I had I, I didn't I didn't I didn't, I didn't see I didn't see it I didn't see it knowing that it was him but I seen it when the girl posted Joan and I put two and two together like oh shit this is the picture that they talking about like because I seen you know like when I get on Twitter sometimes you see certain shit trending but you don't know why it's trending yeah. I'm not about to go look and see why a fucking little fish trending like I don't give a fuck yeah no like that's why I say I start seeing them all the memes and shit yeah I was seeing the memes <laughs> but I saw the I magic school, school bus shit yeah I, I seen that yeah, yeah that's the wanna, one I seen uh, I was blind like I'm that. done. I'm done with that shit. When I seen that, the bad school bus, it was like they were singing and they was like, "What's that?" And it was like, <laughs> she just kept opening. <laughs> you know how they go? Do you know the bad school bus? They used to go and explore, right? Mm-hmm. And then they. <laughs> I don't even know if they was in, but whatever they was in, yeah. As soon as I seen that, I said, "Oh no." Nah. That one was funny. It was. It definitely was. You're Cause who the fuck sits and think about this shit? Like I'm gonna use the bad school bus and. Like they used to motherfuckers who motherfuckers crazy. who perfect even two things people who got absolutely no life and no common sense because it's motherfuckers who get paid to make them type of memes like shit to be just like that throw it that out and be like that, that detailed viral, motherfuckers like, be getting paid for them type of memes so if you making that type of meme and you donate shit for free you are gotta done. go far and shit because I would not be thinking about but if you do it for a living you would imagine That's people who sad. actually get paid get to paid, make memes you just thinking about shit like that. Like what was that nigga who he had that page and shit? Like what was it? What was it like Daquan or some shit? Yeah, I think still when up. he sold his page. No, that's still up. Oh, see, I ain't know. I thought he sold his shit. It's still because I think I still follow him. 
But just niggas like that. The motherfuckers, some people is literally like professional fucking memers. Um, it has so. to be older people, though, because these young kids, they don't know about no goddamn magic school bus. Nah, they don't gotta be old. How they know about it? How, you can, if you ask a kid today, what, like, what's the magic school bus? They ain't not gonna know. But Google and YouTube. Everything is on YouTube. Now, how you find those clips in it? Yeah, it's still, it's still, it's still, it's still How many followers he got? 16.4 million. God damn. I swear I thought he sold that job. It was very positive. Damn. Mm-hmm. Real quick, um, one shout out to, I should have shouted out Kyrie Irving when we was doing, uh, with some of, um, John Morant and Stefan Diggs. But shout out to Kyrie Irving for paying a young, uh, lady's tuition. She was trying to raise, I, for, well, I forgot what year she trying to finish, but she's trying to finish up getting her scholarship. And I think she was trying to raise, like, I can't from what was her, I think it was her goal. I think her goal was 6000 Her goal was $6,000. And I think she was already at, like, uh, like thirty three hundred, and Kyrie ended up just giving her twenty two bands. That's alright. That's what's up. Yeah, I fuck with Kyrie though. I don't, and one and besides all the other shit that everybody talk about with him, he always do some fire he shit. And no, 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 he always do some fire shit. And cat and low key. And this is why I, what I don't like about just like with the sports shit anyway. And that's why I ride so hard. Oh, and shit. when we talked about Kyrie, it was for the uh, the gym with, with uh, him donating that money for the for Bowie State. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, that's well, tight. It, it did have to go towards the match. So that's tight. So, so, but then, but just go, Kyrie been balling his fucking ass off the last, for like, Kyrie been balling his ass off since he been back from that su- fucking suspension. But just, my whole thing is, motherfuckers just find their ways to kind of not even talk about, like, how all fucking, the good shit. Yeah, all the good shit he do on, off, on, on off the, the court, court and on, on the court. court. Like, right. niggas ain't like, and niggas is still trying to like, nigga, Brooklyn has turned that shit around. Like, don't get it twisted. They ain't not around that much. You know, but they, why not? Why you can't, why you saying not that? that? They above 500 now. A game. I think they're a game above 500. But that's almost damn near. Look at this NBA season. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. They they moved up more. So how many games they above 500 now? No, they're 19 to 12 now. So that's my point. You know, they moved. They did. But I think that's, but, but, but that, I think but, that's, the, I think that's the thing, though. We They're supposed to be number one. Yeah, but you started off slow. No, no. I, I, I get that. And I feel like even with the Lakers, your expectation for them and where they're supposed to be. Of course, that's why, of, of, that's why. of course, but just but the, the thing is, to me, what make it even better is, okay, they all started off playing like ass, and then and now you watching them work their way back up to the shit. Because just imagine yeah. that they come out just niggas not even gonna be in tune. So to me, it's kind of tight that the fucking Pelicans is the number one team in the West, and Sacramento is number four, or number five. Like that shit to me, because that making you kind of watch. Like damn, let me see Can the Lakers turn it around, Can Brooklyn turn it around. But my thing is, what I don't fuck with, I don't fuck with them not even talking about. Like you said, you didn't reason why you didn't know. One because you're not a fucking Nets fan, but just because they don't even talk about enough how many games these niggas didn't want, they kind of just I don't, act I, like it don't yeah, they, like it ain't I, happening. I feel like I mean because I, I think it's more so because and also it's still football going on, so you're not really going to be yeah. Into, and people really own football right now, real hard, especially with that bet and shit. You're not going to you're not going to glorify over oh, damn they on this winning streak now. Come Christmas Day and after that, you know what I'm saying? After that. I think that's when it's going to be like, oh, well, damn, they still on this winning streak or whatever the case may be. Shit, like the fucking Wizards. I ain't know they lost fucking nine games. Yeah, they ass. And, um, and Bradley Bill ain't been playing either. They some shit. Mm-hmm. And the crazy thing, Kyle Kuzma not playing as good this year as he was last year. Like, Kyle Kuzma was hooping last year. This season, he playing like dog shit. Like, I ain't, he ain't had not one good game. He had a couple 30 pieces last year. He ain't even, he was sniffed a fucking 30 shit, I don't think. Maybe at the beginning of the season. But not in the brick. Like, he been playing like dog shit. 